Solomon Vault. And the wind gets a hold of it. It'll be a touchback. Northwestern will start on the 25. So on first and 10, Thorson back to throw on the rollout. And he fires complete at the 41-yard line to Austin Carr. That's the 51st catch of the year for Carr, the leading receiver in the Big Ten. Thorson throwing it the other way. Another open man. It's Carr again, and it's another Wildcat first down. From the 45-yard line of Ohio State, Thorson on the run. Throws it up for grabs, and it's pulled in. Austin Carr. Carr goes up, secures the catch. Now look at that left foot. I think he's... I think he's out of bounds there, Greg, with uh, the heel of the left foot coming down on the chalk. I think you're absolutely right. And to further review, the receiver was out of bounds. He came down with the toe in, but the foot was out. It'll be second down at the previous spot, which is the 45-yard line on the left hash. So on second and 10, going to hand it off here to Justin Jackson, and he doesn't get much, maybe. Thorson on third and nine, and throws that one high and incomplete. And that is a perfect punt from the Ohio State six-yard line. And Barrett going to throw it to Curtis Samuel out in space, and he's tackled at the nine-yard line. Wide receiver and running back. Barrett to the air again on second down, has time. Noah Brown on the reception, but he is short, it would appear, of a first down. Loose. Here's Weber straight ahead, a huge hole for the Buckeyes. Out past the 30-yard line. Barrett, and that pass off target. Get it to open receivers. That's Weber in motion on second and ten. Pump fake, and Barrett's throw is pulled in at the 43 by Paris Campbell. Here comes a reverse to Paris Campbell. Tons of running room. First down and more inside the 35. Pushed out at the 30-yard line. This is the type of drive that Ohio State needed offensively. Samuel again gets good blocking. He's inside the 20-yard line. Dives to the 15. You get in the red zone. It's a little tougher against a good defense down here. Barrett again with a ton of time. Long throw. Weber's got it. Spins out of a tackle. Weber inside the five to the end zone. The ball comes out, but he crossed the plane. It's a touchdown for Ohio State. See the nose of the football. That left knee's down. It looks like he's going to be called just short if they take another look at this. All scoring plays are reviewed, obviously. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. That is close, Greg, whether the nose of the football just crossed. A touchdown. Ball will be placed at the one-foot-yard line. It'll be extended. A touchdown. And here's Weber straight ahead. And he's in. Touchdown, Buckeyes. The first opening drive touchdown by Ohio State's offense this season. What a way to start for Ohio State. Tough outcome last week, naturally. A lot of mistakes made, especially in the fourth quarter. Wondering what this young team's going to do. Will they bounce back? Ball into Buckeye territory before punting. And the point after is good for Tyler Durbin. So a clean special team start for Ohio State after those two block kicks in the fourth quarter of the loss at Penn State a week ago. 7-0 Ohio State. And again, Vault will take a knee. This week's unfortunate outcome. Northwestern going to run the ball here. John Moten with a big lane past the 40-yard line. He's only turned it over once, and he's accounted for 11 touchdowns. And the Wildcats have won three in a row. This pass is deflected, and it is intercepted. It's picked off by Damon Arnett on the tip by Raquan McMillan. 
Mike Weber on the carry. And he's in the Wildcat territory for a gain of four. Five touchdowns. Weber again on second down. Breaks a couple tackles. And has a first down to the 40-yard line. The blitz already today. You see he's changed his process. Has a ton of time in the pocket. And that might have gotten tipped. Up in the knot. Weber again. He's to the 35. With, and they're not off to a good start. Barrett with a ton of time. And it's pitch and catch. Samuel on the grab. First down. Are the uh, offensive coordinators. Urban Meyer gets involved, obviously, in play calling as well. As Barrett again has time and just throws this one away. Barrett on second and ten. Fires underneath to Noah Brown. And Brown breaking tackles. Trying to get back into his game. Play clock at one, and it's Dontre Wilson on the end around, and he'll be knocked out of bounds short of the first down by. You saw Durbin perfect on the year, but they called last week's miss a team missed field goal on the block. That one's good, so technically he's 11 for 11 with a 35 yard field goal to extend the lead to 10 0 for the Buckeyes. Unusual. <laughs> That's not the last time you'll see us in costume, by the way, just teasing something later. Let's check in with Tom. Now they've got two quick first downs on their opening drive, but then had to punt. They run the ball here, and it's a pickup of about seven or eight for Craig. You surprised by that? The Mountaineers losing to Oklahoma State, or no? Is uh, Jackson here? Is uh, taken down short of the marker? It'll be third down. Out of the question with a loss. They certainly don't control their own destiny. I promise you that much. Third and two. Thorson sliding up in the pocket, throws complete, a first down to the 43-yard line. Progression. Off play action, that pass nearly picked off by Hooker. Five line, he's a junior. And he's in trouble, but it's a shovel pass to Garrett Dickerson. And just 276 yards, and Penn State was 2 of 13 on third down. It was not the defense's fault in that game a week ago. Third and eight for Northwestern. Thorson to the sideline, and the catch is made. It's a first down grab. Also have the leader in sacks in the Big Ten in this Northwestern team. Here is Justin Jackson running right. Able to shake a defender inside the 30-yard line and hit out of bounds. Data penalties. Yeah, looking at that again, I agree. Think it was the right decision by the official not to throw the flag. Northwestern on the move. Thorson off a play fake. Everything covered. Thorson rolling out and throws it away. They've road Big Ten games, and overall, eight of their last nine Big Ten games. This is a team that's playing well the last month. But down 10 nothing, and trying to get points here. Moten off the left side, runs into McMillan, and the state is so good in the red zone. Number two in the country as Northwestern's on the cusp of the red zone on third and long. Thorson to the sideline again. Oh, what a catch by Carr. Was he in bounds? No. He stepped on the sideline. He's great when you talk to him on the phone in our production meetings as you see that right foot clearly in bounds and as you said he maintained possession to the ground. We're going to get another look at it here. Great awareness knowing exactly where you are on the field. At the further review the receiver did get one foot down in bounds making it a reception first and ten at the 12 yard line. The ball will be placed at the left hash. The clock will start when we're ready. For now in college football. First down from the 12-yard line, Thorson, and the catch made at the eight, and a gain of about four on the play in the world. On second, second and six, it's Thorson keeping it, and he just not doesn't have the speed to outrun Malik Hooker. They are three of four on third down so far. Thorson underneath pass and a good tackle. Dickerson brought down by Lattimore. Dickerson. It is a pass play on fourth down, and it is caught by Dickerson for a first down. Then the ball comes out. The ball came out. It is ruled a catch, though, and then he was down. Defenders, though, were going wild, but you can see there clearly as they run it straight ahead to Jackson, and the hole is plugged. 10 0 Ohio State after one here in Columbus. Ohio State has allowed just two rushing touchdowns on the season. That's the fewest in college football. The Wildcats with a second and goal. Inside the one, Thorson on the quarterback keeper with second effort. Able to push the pile. 
And they haven't signaled yet, but looked like he got it into the end zone. Now they do. Touchdown, Northwestern. Not there initially, but Thorson, with the help of his running back, gets enough momentum to cross the plane. Pat Fitzgerald fired up. And how about on second and goal and get into the end zone? Mitchell puts it through, and it's 10-7, Ohio State. Nice response by Northwestern here on the road. Hunt for the Big Ten Championship. A game back of Michigan in the East. Harris Campbell straddling the goal line is past the 15 and tackled at the 20. Nine touchdown passes. He did throw a pick in the first quarter of this game. Swing pass to Samuel, and he's got running room. Knocked out of bounds after a gain of eight. Here, they get over this one. They got a real chance. Here's Samuel on second and two, and a beautiful tackle made by Godwin. Igwe Buke, their leading tackler, starts at multiple concussions. Weber on third down in a yard, able to muscle his way. State has won 29 of 30 meetings with Northwestern in the series history. Barrett's pass is caught as run game. And also because that down the field passing game hasn't been there the last few weeks. They will run it though here to Weber. And again, he's able to muscle his way past the marker. It would have been so consistent as a head coach. Seldom puts together consecutive bad performances. Barrett was looking downfield, and then it's dropped by Marcus Ball. Enough out of you two. Here's Barrett on second and ten, picking a hole. That's his first run of the day. On third and six, Barrett to the air. Surveying, dumping it off to Samuel, and he's able to break a tackle and get the first down. And one of those went for 74 yards, a touchdown. Much more involved here early on for the Buckeyes in the offense. Weber dropped in the backfield for a loss at midfield. Which there, the defensive coordinator for Northwestern. Second and 14. Barrett again with time. Hits Noah Brown, who breaks a tackle and is close to a first down. It's just Barrett in the backfield. On third down and a yard. And a design quarterback run as Barrett picks it up. Challenge, and he's playing better as a result. 12th play of the drive, Barrett to the air, gets hit, and sacked at the 41-yard line. C.J. Robbins is there. Seven, who is the leading sacker in the Big Ten. It's the other guys, too. Here's Barrett, as everybody's covered, takes off, and slides to the 35-yard line. You don't have to get it all right here. Barrett with time, now hit with a long throw that's caught, and it's a first down. Marcus Ball hung on quick. First and 10 from the 23-yard line. Here's Weber, and he is able to break a tackle at the 20. He'll take it into the end zone. Ohio State touchdown. Two touchdowns on the day. Shirt freshman Mike Weber and now six on the season. Five for their first opening drive touchdown of the season. Durbin makes it 17-7 Ohio State. Weber gets in the paint for the second time. But his center, 65, Pat Elfline. He needs a Buckeye sticker on the side of his helmet for the pancake out in front. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Again, three straight wins for the Wildcats because mostly of their offense is uh, he had to take that up. Ball dropped the ball, and the ball was over the goal line, so he had to take it out, and he's crushed at the 11-yard line. The leading rusher in the Big Ten. We'll see if they get him involved here. It's play action for Thorson, and a deep pass. Overshot the intended receiver. Loves it. Thorson over the middle, and the catch is made by Carr. The first down. Closing in on 800 receiving yards. And another catch. This is Macon Wilson. There's a lot of people waiting for that game today to see if Washington's for real. As Northwestern gets a first down with Garrett Dickerson to the 45-yard line. Every time. 
Thornton going to get drilled as he throws a deep ball, trying to hit Carl in the first quarter. On second and ten, Thorson sliding up, taking off. He's got a ton of room. Inside the 40, inside the 30. And down to the 20-yard line. And they're in the red zone again. And Justin Jackson between the tackles down to the 12-yard line. Okay. He'll get it here on second and three. And he is inside the 10-yard line. And Northwestern with seven and looking to get to 14. Jackson. Wrapped up at the line of scrimmage by Raekwon McMillan, and Ohio State is against the run. Alvidi keeps it. Gets maybe a yard. A Thorson run for 40 yards. He'll throw here on third and goal. Has time. Back of the end zone. Incomplete. 23-yard try to get within seven of the Buckeyes. And that one is perfect. So with a minute 43 remaining in the half, it's 17-10. The Western Michigan is now ranked 20th, also to Illinois State, which was an inexplicable loss. It'll come out to the 25 here for the Buckeyes. A little fast, but he's given his receivers time. Got a clean pocket here, and now a dangerous pass trying to hit Baugh. Only rushed it four times in this game. 112 rushing attempts in the year, almost as many as he had all of last year. Throwing underneath here to Weber, who steps out. A third and nine here for the Buckeyes, a minute 31 remaining. Empty set on third and nine, and there was movement by Ohio State. Going to make it third and 14. That was a dead ball foul. They'll add three seconds back to the clock. Ball start. Offense, number 74. Five-yard penalty, third down. You're not good enough. It's a reverse psychology with him, and it seems to work. They're going to run it on third down. And so let's see if Northwestern calls its final timeout. Northwestern very rarely does that. Johnston had a punt block last week. Gets this one away, but it's short. The wind getting a hold of it, and it's fair caught at the 40-yard line. By absolutely love the guy. College Football Hall of Famer as a player. Thorson in trouble and dropped at the 26-yard line by Taekwon Lewis. One of the best that's ever done it because of that reason. The Wildcats keeping on the ground. Justin Jackson picks up just a couple. Those playoff rankings come out on ESPN Tuesday night, 7 Eastern, as Northwestern runs the ball here. Moten brought down at the 39-yard line. The Buck Ice Wander standing on his 25-yard line gets it away. It's a low liner. And it bounces sideways. Not a good kick. Going from right to left. Barrett steps up. And gets rid of it to Weber. Steps out at the 31 to stop late in the first half. Let's see if they can hold up here. Barrett steps up. Being chased. Throws. Knocked away. Incomplete. They motion Weber out of the backfield again. Barrett looking that way. And it's off target. Incomplete. Cameron Johnston, the punter, just got rid of that. And it may have gotten blocked. Clock is running. The ball will die at the 42. Northwestern may have gotten a piece of that. We'll see that from an Urban Meyer coach team. The number of block kicks, usually it's his team's doing the blocking. Pass to the sideline is out of bounds. A reminder, Ohio State will get the ball to start the second half. Thorson in trouble. Gets out of there. Now launches it downfield. In the traffic where it is intercepted by Denzel Ward to end the half. And now they ruled that it was incomplete, that Ward did not hang out of the football. But in terms of the game, it's really inconsequential. Only affects the stats of Thorson. So an incompletion, 17-10, Ohio State leading Northwestern at halftime. Time now for the Lexus Halftime Report. Ohio State will get the ball to start the second half. First five games of the year, they scored on their opening possession touchdown of the second half. They'll start this drive in their 25. Here's how many head coaches are doing that? Well, I wouldn't push Pat Fitzgerald across to that. <laughs> Here's Curtis Samuel, just his second rushing attempt of the day, and he's free at the 45. Finally brought down. Just lost his shoe on that play, so he's out right now. Dontre Wilson on the catch. Makes a defender miss. Tries to spin out of the K-Row tap in the gun. Wilson straight ahead, not much that big play to start the second half. 
On third and four, Barrett will keep, and he gets stoned. Big hit. Northwestern deep in their own end. And Northwestern doesn't even come after this one. As that punt will go out of bounds around the 10. We'll see where they spotted it. Hit at the 12. And they're saying that it crossed at the 6-yard line. McCall, the offensive coordinator. He's going to throw it here. Got an open man at the 10-yard line. Dickerson upended close to a first down. By catch already today. Play fake. Thorson rolling out. Long throw at the feet of Carr. A flag. So players were looking for a penalty, but there wasn't one. They're going to run Justin Jackson. Big hole between the tackles. He's past the 30. And finally, tracked down at the 41-yard line. That's a 24-yard run for the nice game. They go right back to the air. It's Jackson on the catch. John Moten is out there on second and seven for Northwestern. Moten trying to swing it to the outside, and he's dropped for a loss by big Michael Hill. For three on third and long situations, Ohio State rushes four. Thorson lobbing it toward the sideline and out of bounds. They're going to take advantage. Nice Wanders punt. That fooled Wilson a little bit. He's got it on the 15, and he gets leveled at the 20-yard line. 85 pounds. It felt like it. Man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Here comes a reverse to Campbell in trouble, but he's able to get positive yardage favor. Burn that hair, would you please? <laughs> Believe me. They fake the throw and hand it off straight ahead to Weber. Right through that thing. <laughs> it's going to smell good. Third and two pair. Keeps and has the first down. Heard of Samuel coming in the backfield here. And there is a penalty flag down movement by Ohio State. These are the type of problems though they've been having derailing their offense. Offense, number 82. Five yard penalty, first down. That's evolved on game day today. Changing up some blocking schemes on first and 15. Samuel can't hang on. It's Penn State, so that's been a point of emphasis this week. Garrett going for Samuel, has blocking. Samuel is stacked up at the 37 yard line. But are those guys getting open? And is Barrett looking that way? He's going to take a shot here on third and long. And the pass is off target intended for Clark. Again, Ohio State led 10-0 early. In part because of an interception by Northwestern. Nagel with the fair catch signal, and he's got it. First down for Northwestern on its 16-yard line. Thorson looking downfield. A man comes open. It's Carr. Finally dragged down at the 46-yard line by Damon Webb. He's got 96 yards on the day. Thorson going for him again. There's a flag down. The catch is made for a first down, but this likely will be coming back. Holding. Offense. Number 76. 10-yard penalty. First down. That's first down and 20. They're going to run it here. Jackson met in the hole and tackled. The first Buckeye fans. Have had that one circled for a little while. Second and 18. Thorson does a ju good job to step up and then get rid of it incomplete. They rush four, and it's a dump off pass to Jackson, and Jackson comes up just short of the first down. Iowa State in a man-to-man -man coverage here. We can see if there's some mesh routes with some crossers. They snap at the Thorson on fourth and two. Looking, throwing. It's caught for a first down. Livery from Thorson there. A little mix up there. And in trouble is the quarterback Thorson. He gets out of there. Throws a deep ball into the end zone and out of play. Called back because of offensive holding. Back to the air on second and ten. And able to hit Carr again. Who breaks a tackle. Heads for the end zone. And they roll him out of bounds at the five-yard line. Throw. Just want to see where Carr stepped out. Going on the field as the runner stepped out of bounds. Ooh, oh, I don't goal. think he did, Greg. They booth, look at that. That was a touchdown. But they snap it and run the ball. Justin Jackson to the two-yard line. So it's second and goal. Thorson will throw it here. In trouble and throws it away. Third and goal. Thorson again to the air. Lobs it. Man is there. Touchdown. Garrett Dickerson pulls it in. And the Wildcats can tie it.
good Northwestern team. 15th on the season, and now Jack Mitchell puts it through, and we are all tied with 3.49 to go in the third quarter. Haven't covered Dickerson all day. No different here. Leave him open in the back of the end zone, and Thorson finds him. Puts his arms up. Touchdown, Cats. And this will be a touchback. Buckeyes start in their 25. Now let's see how JT Barrett in the offense responds to the Buckeyes. From their 25, Barrett on the rollout. Going to keep it here. And takes a seat at the 28 as this year as well. Kyle Whittingham, excellent coach. Once worked for Urban Meyer of Utah as Webb just haven't been able to put it all together offensively. Empty set on third and six. Barrett has time. And he's got Samuel for a first down. Little option game and the pitch to Samuel. And he runs out of room. It is not really one at the point of attack up front. Barrett's pass on target. And close to a first down is when it comes to sound fundamental tackling. Weber on third, down and two. First down. And can't get away from the defender at the 39. Samuel brought down. I make that uh, Samuel there brought down at the line of scrimmage. So no gain on the final play of the third quarter. We are tied at 17 going to the fourth here in Columbus. On the ground against Northwestern, but it hasn't happened since that opening quarter. And they've got a second and 10 inside the Wildcat 40 as we start the fourth here in Columbus. Here's Barrett keeping it, and he gets a handful. From the 35-yard line of Northwestern after that four-yard run by J.T. Barrett. And Barrett pitching it here to Samuel, who gets clubbed in the backfield by Igwe Buke to force a fourth and long. They Ground, and now Ohio State has to punt it. Johnston trying to pin the Wildcats inside the 10. The Buckeyes have three guys down there, and that looked like it crossed the plane. And it did. It's a touchback here on first down. They bring Alvidi in here to run the option and they don't get anything with Justin Jackson as we go here we're tied at 17 Clayton Thorson back in the field he wasn't out there for first down and they hand it off here to Jackson Northwestern in third and medium to long situations 0 for 5 in the ball game this is third and six the Buckeyes rush for Thorson with a long throw off the mark it was nowhere for Clayton Thorson to put the football. Nice wander with a bad punt. And it's loose on the ground. It didn't hit anybody, so Dontre Wilson lets it go. Points for Ohio State in this game. Seven since the midway point of that first quarter. A designed quarterback run for Barrett. He's across the 40, picking it because there were, was a receiver open. By the way, Tyler Lancaster made that tackle. He was injured early. Here's a running lane for Samuel to the outside and powers his way close to the first down mark. First down on the Ohio State 47. Barrett on the rollout and the pass is pulled in by Noah Brown. You see, I'm taking a shot down the field. Even if it's incomplete, I know I can come back on third and run for a first down. Let's see what they do here. Barrett pulls it back and wide open. K.J. Hill inside the 20. Hill knocked down near the 10-yard line. There it was. 30 to lead here. Samuel motioning out. Quarterback run by Barrett, and he's dragged down. His eyes saw Pater. <laughs> but Igwe UK made sure that it's Samuel into the end zone. Ohio State back on top. Season. And Durbin gives the Buckeyes a seven point advantage.
He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, and he comes through with a big play. Gives it to another playmaker, Samuel Pater for the Buckeyes. Temperature in the mid-70s on the final Saturday, October. And the sun down here in Columbus and the knee down. It'll be look at the plays and the yards are similar time of possession. That's to be expected. Northwestern normally has it about 22 minutes a game. Dump off pass and a good pickup. Dickerson. Mainwalk Clayton Thorson rolling out. And that is through the hands of the intended receiver. They're going to throw it. Thorson in trouble. Being chased and has a completion near the first down marker. Jackson. It looks like he's got enough. Quarterback. That's where you want to put it. So the receiver has a chance to get it. Thorson rolling left again. Knows he's going to get hammered and throws it out of bounds. Now he's a defensive end. On second down. They're going to run it. And it's a good pickup for Jackson across the 40. They need to get to the 45 here on third down and four. Thorson into the air with time. Open man on the middle of the field is green. It's a first down. As well, throwing the football. Made a lot of plays on that down. Jackson runs into a lineman. Wide receiver. There's second and nine. Another handoff. Jackson looking for a cutback lane. It's not there. Third down and seven, and a quarterback run, and how about this? Clayton Thorson with a first down. Tied six minutes to go. Northwestern is inside the Buckeye 30. Justin Jackson running left, in trouble. And down he goes, losing three on the pairing. Five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The Wildcats down seven. Thorson looking, taking a shot here. Incomplete. Try Play clock is down to three. Thorson going to get hit, but finds a man. It's caught. Austin Carr inside the 10, wrapped up inside the five. Close to tying this one up. First and goal from the three. Thorson keeping it in trouble. Walloped at the five by Malik Hooker. Here comes a reverse on second and goal, and Scanlon going to throw it to the end zone. Thorson to the air on third and goal. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to stiff arm. Throws end zone incomplete. Holding. Offense. Number 72. 10 yard penalty. Third down. So imagine that affects the play calling here and what you do on third and goal. Thorson throwing in the traffic incomplete in the end zone. Jack Mitchell. 32 yard attempt. Make that 33. To get the Wildcats within four. And the kick is good with 331 remaining. Northwestern's not done because they're not championship ready just yet. And this is a much better Northwestern team than we saw earlier in the year. Ohio State will start in the 25 after a touchback. Operate the offense on first down from the Buckeye 25. Play fake, Barrett rolling out, and the pass is high and incomplete. In the time left, Northwestern has three timeouts. You know the Buckeyes are going to run their offense as uh, Barrett tries to take off here. And he does get positive yardage. Here he is, right here, lined up at number three in the trips formation. That's Curtis Samuel. Barrett on third down looking. Now throws, and it's Brown on the catch and a first down to the 42 yard line. Design quarterback run, and Barrett stood up. Let's see if the Wildcats use a timeout here. Clock here. It's their friend right now. Barrett looking, waiting, and it's knocked down. Is there going to be a flag? No. Brown thought he was interfered with by McShepard, and so... Now it sets up a tough third down for Ohio State. Barrett is 5 of 7, passing on third down. He's going to run it here on third down and 10. He's got the first down. The race is on. Barrett wisely gets down, inbounds, third and ten. Ohio State letting the clock wind down. Weber bouncing off tacklers, runs through a defender and gets a first down to the 11-yard line. That's all we're talking about this week. Weber 
Spun down at the nine. Defensively and defensively. The defense has done their part. The offense now for Ohio State has to answer the challenge. Barrett takes a knee. Northwestern will stop the clock one more time. With a They've been very good. Ohio State, from a talent standpoint, can still match up with anybody in college football. The Buckeyes survived today here in Columbus. They beat Northwestern 24 to 20. Ohio State is 7 and 1 now, 4 and 1 in the conference. Northwestern 4 and 4, 3 and 2 in the Big 10. But with that kid right there, Clayton Force and the Wildcats are headed in the right direction. And of course, the quarterback for Ohio State, JT Barrett, with the game-winning run on third down and 10. Urban Meyer now standing by with Tom. Well, coach, you said this was a season of firsts. Well, tonight was a first in a good way. What can you take off of how your team responded as Nebraska comes into town next week? Well, we got a lot of work to do still, but uh, whenever you have a young team like this, every like you said, everything's a uh, time of first. We lost the game. Got kicked right in the teeth all week. It was hard. I mean, very hard. And to come out and play against a team that was on a roll, had three big wins. And, and uh, to get out of here and win, I'm very pleased. Each and every game for this young team seems to be a learning experience. Uh, obviously, you haven't seen the tape, but you've watched it right here in front of your own eyes. What did you like out of your team tonight? Oh, we made such a huge deal of fast start. We used to have fast starts around here, and so we did. Went right down the field, only had four possessions in the first half. Right. And then second half, you know, they did a couple things, and we adjusted well. We ran that little uh, pistol route or the, right. the stock go on the side because they were pushing so hard to try to stop Curtis Samuel. All right, Coach. Thanks so much. Yeah, they were up 10 nothing early in the game. Northwestern came back and tied it at 17, but Ohio State wins the game 24 to 20. College football scoreboard coming up then. It is Wisconsin and Nebraska. For Greg McElroy, Tom Luganville, I'm Dave Pash. Thanks for watching. Now let's send you to the studio and Chris.